Hey everyone! So, I just got back from the Kane Brown concert and I am in tons of pain. Don't ever go to a concert after just having major surgery. But, it went really well. I, so, this was my dilemma. So obviously when I bought the tickets, obviously I did not have surgery planned. You know, when Jamie has to do something, she really has to do it. And so I am horrible. Let me just tell you guys. I'm horrible with dates. I'm horrible with paperwork. Okay, so I, when you ordered the tickets, they, you could get them in three different ways. You could either A, have them sent to you, B, you could print them out, or C, you could have them sent to your mobile cell phone, and then you just get like a barcode or whatever, and they scan that when you get to the concert. So, obviously, everyone knows that I had the surgery on Wednesday, and so, obviously, Wednesday, I wasn't even thinking about the Kane Brown concert today. And so, yesterday, I was like, oh my God, I have to go to this freaking concert I bought these tickets for this concert. I can't go. I, I'm in too much pain. Like, what am I going to do? And I don't know, like, some of you guys, I mean, obviously, half of you people don't know what Magic City Hall is, but it's a, a it's Magic City Hall is Binghamton, New York, and that is um where they had the concert tonight, and they, you, there's no sitting. I mean, you just go in and you stand, and so I was like, oh, great. What am I going to do? So I... I had posted on Facebook that I wanted to sell my tickets. And so I had people interested in buying them, but Heather still wanted to go to the concert. And so I had called Ticketmaster and I was like, what do I do? You know, can I get these tickets in paper form so I can sell them? The guy said, no, it's, a, you know, it's too late for that. Like, you have... It's, you gotta, when you do the tickets, you're gonna have to bring your, you know, you have to bring your cell phone because you chose for the mobile thing, and you have to bring ID, and not only did I have to bring ID, but I also had to bring my credit card that I bought the tickets on so they could scan it and it would bring up the tickets. Great, right? So I'm like, so this, what do I do? I can't give my other ticket I can't sell my other ticket to somebody I don't want to be out of the money I really wanted to go see Kane Brown and you know this is mine and Heather's thing to do so anyhow so I I had to go and so I called Magic City Hall yesterday and shout out to Patrick the manager because at I talked to him and I said, listen, this is my dilemma. I can't sell my ticket. I just had major surgery. Is there any way that I can get a chair or whatever, sit somewhere where people are not going to be hitting me and stuff like that? So, and my friend Kirk had told me that I had to be careful when I go to these things because they have um, crowd surfing and stuff like that. And so I was really concerned, so I talked to Patrick, and this guy, the manager Patrick, and he said, I will bring you a chair and put you guys up near the stage, you know, just let me know when you get here. So when I got there, you know, I asked for Patrick right away and whatever, I ended up talking to a manager named Kevin, but Patrick was there too, and they actually had the chairs all set up and ready for me to sit up near the stage, pretty much, so... I just had to ask them when they put, they had like a, a little section for, you know, people with wheelchairs and stuff like that. So it was really nice. I got to sit right next to the stage. I was not crowded. It was wonderful. So, yeah, the concert went really well, though. Um, if you guys, if some of you guys don't know who Kane Brown is, you guys really need to check him out. He's a great singer. And... They had Country Swag open do the opening act. They were really good. I actually, I had heard of Country Swag, but I guess I never really paid much attention. And now I'm glad, like, that, that was really good. So check out Country Swag. They were the opening act. They were, they were really good. They got the crowd. They were very entertaining, funny. I just really, really liked them. They really got the crowd going. It was really nice. Uh, 
the drinks and the food and drinks are like pricey there. It was like three dollars for a water, but it was okay. I mean, it was. I mean, what do you? I mean, it's a concert. You gotta expect to pay. I guess a little extra. <clears throat> it was nice spending one-on-one -on -one time with Heather. We haven't done that in a while. Cause if y'all don't know, like Heather and I have been. We've known each other for like 14 to 15 years, but we've been like best friends for like 12. And her and I, we're, we're like sisters. We're not even friends. We are sisters. I mean, truth. Me, her, her sister Jamie, and um, our sister Nikki. We are all very, very, very close. And Heather's mom, Corky, is just like a mother to me. Like, I do not think of her any different than my own mother she's there for me like when I have surgery they're there stuff like that yeah they didn't come to this surgery because it was an emergency surgery they didn't even know I was at the hospital but uh so tonight after the concert I got to spend some time with my mom quirky so that was really nice it was great I had a wonderful time and it was just nice chilling with them and seeing them in a while and I used to go when my kids used to go to their dad's house every other weekend, I would go stay at Heather's house. And I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Like, I haven't actually spent the night at Heather's house since October, I think it was, when I had my surgery. Yeah, October, I think. October 5th, when I had my surgery. My, not this surgery, obviously, but my surgery before that. I went there and spent the night before, so I haven't been there in a while, which really sucks because I really enjoy going down there. But, yeah, so I had a great time, and so I really, if you guys have a chance, like I said, if Kane Brown's coming to your guys' local area, you guys should really check it out. It was a really good concert. So, anyways, so, yeah, that was my experience of going to a concert after having surgery. But, anyway, so I will talk to you all for my next video. Bye.